Hello there, everyone, and thank you for joining me here in the start of a new campaign in Kazuya Redux, in which we're playing as a D Almighty Don host. In which, for this path and campaign, we're trying to, going to try to get the Don Kuban Union. I guess it's a German Don Kuban Union slash Russia, so I'm not really sure what that is, but like, oh well, we'll wait for Black Monday when the anti Karaznov coup fires. Let, let him die. Sorry, Peter. But the Don Almighty Don host, the Don Republic of Almighty Don host, was originally proclaimed on May 18th, 1918, by Ataman. Petr Krasnov, during the Russian Civil War, he assisted the White Army fighting the Bolsheviks and strengthened his position in southern Russia by allying the Kuban People's Republic until, as the end of the war approached, the central white government of Russia ordered the suppression of the, white, the Kuban Republic, which, although cooperating with the white movement, wanted to maintain its independence even unite with Ukraine. The Don, however, was able to retain a small amount of autonomy as a result of Krasnov's province, a compromise with Kolchak and President Sezonov. This all changed after the defeat of Kolchak's Pooch. Krasnov, who as a monarchist opposed the Republic, took the opportunity to proclaim a new government and try to march on Volgograd, but he failed and was forced to retreat, uniting with the remnants of Kolchak's southern forces in southern Russia. However, thanks to German intervention, they achieved full independence and became a buffer state in the Caucasus. Since then, the Don Republic has not fared any better. The lack of modern industries weakened the army, and the Russophile faction led by Afrikan Bogovsky has become increasingly defined. The question of the German delegation present, present since the German border arbitration, which determined the borders between the Don, Kuban, and Mountain Republics, has proved alarming. If Pietro Krasnov wants to remain Ataman of the Don army, he'll have to deal with these and many other problems. Krasnov will bring back our lost glory. Well, depending on who you ask. Well, the Black Fleet seat by the Cossack Circle. A Kazachi Krug, a Kazakh circle, is the main legislative and executive state authority in the Don host. The members of the Krug, or Krug, represent the Russians, Don Cossacks, Kalmyks, and other minorities in our country. This authority has the right to discuss almost every significant question related to life in the country. Though Krasnov can promulgate his orders even without the approval of the Krug, but he has to consider its opinion in every case if he wants to remain in control over the Don. Ancient tradition still living on to this day, and we're doing the Black Sea Fleet. The Black Sea serves as a gateway into the wider world and chief artery of our economy. Without our nation would surely collapse, protect the naval assets of our inner shores, the Black Sea Fleet must rise, renovate, and reform from the ashes of our current sorry excuse for our naval force. New ships shall be constructed, and old ones shall be refitted in our quest to achieve security and perhaps even privacy in our home sea. Port of Novocherask. A grand new port shall be created on the coast of the Black Sea, serving as the center of our new naval expansion and reformation efforts. With a new naval access point to this main, uh, major artery, our naval influence in our waters shall increase, as does our upload of naval equipment and the ability to maintain it. 0.56 political power every single day, and national spirits. We have the Cossack state. A special Cossack unit can be recruited every 90 days, which we already did it so far. I mean, we lose a lot of political power and stability, but whatever. The Liberation Army grows. The Russian Liberation Army, or OROA, is effectively the paramilitary leader in the Committee for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia. For the most part, they've been irrelevant since uh, their inception. However, in recent years, they've grown into a real threat for our government. The reasons for the sudden growth are unknown currently. So far, that activity has been limited, but their fears that they may be preparing something too. We also have Cossack Army, more attack and defense for cavalry, more division attack in general, a less recruitable population factor, better division uh, training time, worse army experience gain, and more division speed. It's not bad. So, uh, to get this one, wait for Black Monday, let the fire, get them close on them. Who, what, where, why? Born in uh, Lomakino in 1901, Landor Vlasov was originally a student at a Russian Orthodox seminary, but after the February Revolution, he quit, briefly studying agricultural sciences instead. In 1919, he quit as well to join the Red Army during the Civil War, fighting in the southern fronts in Ukraine, the Caucasus, and Crimea, but he defected to the White Army out of a want for survival as the Red Army's advance began breaking down. After the White Army's victory, the young Vlasov rapidly rose to the ranks of the Russian Army, being promoted to general in 1924. However, his rise would come to a quick end in a year later, during the ill-fated Kolchak Putsch. Vlasov's division was stationed in Petrograd as the coup began. Vlasov was originally loyal to Kerensky, but then Vlasov's forces were quickly surrounded by the troops loyal to Kolchak and Vlasov, as men were captured by the Putsch. He was offered his way out of the makeshift prison he was placed in, joining Kolchak's forces. He accepted to believe that the coup was soon to be a success, and this was, but this was not the case. As the push began to fail, the Vlasov's division was cut off from the rest of Kolchak's army, forced to flee south of the Don Kuban Union. When the Don Kuban Union, uh, Vlasov began gathering other exiles in the Union, and in 1929, formed the Committee for the Liberation of the Peoples of Russia, believing that Russia must be liberated from corrupt politicians and white military officers like Kolchak and Kerensky. After the collapse of the Union a year later, Vlasov created the uh, Russian Liberation Army, in which time was little more than a paramilitary force for the Committee. The Liberation Army grew over time, and nothing really changed for many years. Vlasov would occasionally try to get support from the Cossack government, but it would always be ignored or refused. But now with the clouds forming the Don host, Vlasov may get an opportunity to take over the Don for his liberation of Russia. Interesting. You have exercises? That's not bad. Uh, Don, Ukrainian never exercises. Ukraine is one of our closest neighbors and has always serves as a major partner in the region, especially when it comes to nautical matters. If further this cooperation, joint naval exercise will be held with the Ukrainian Navy to help both of our naval staffs to gain real experience, protecting the Black Sea lifeline. Though influential on its waters is important to us, the Black Sea is shared with many other peoples, from rival nations, oh god, uh, to pirates, these waters are never truly safe. We must ens ensure the security of our convoys whose application new patrol routes, while also arm the crews of our convoys in case of pirate boardings. Our mercantile fleets must be kept safe, as they are the lifeline of our nation. Cossack army be nice. 
Economic recovery. Uh, our economy has fared well since the tears of Black Monday first ravaged our financial state. Uh, with the worst behind us, our economy is beginning to show the first signs of real recovery. We should act on this brief for spite from the crash in order to order our to further pull our nation out of the depths, deep slump it finds itself in. Empty Krasnov, cool. Oh, really? Excuse me. All power the, to the Ottoman, towards a free republic. Ah, the crisis comes to the republic. As predicted, the Don's finances are economy in deep crisis. The average Cossack faces problems selling his products, and a number of factories are closing. This means that various dangerous elements will have a greater impact upon the landscape of the Cossack country. Oh, crap. God save us from this world. Oh, Jesus Christ. So, we'll have our issues, like normal, like every nation, you know. The Don guides, of course. Wait for Black Monday. And when the coup fires, let him die. Let him die. Oh, well, he's gonna die, so we definitely have to go this way. There's a free Republic. Don Caban Union, expel German delegations, of course. What does not remains? Or United the Cossacks. Restore the Don Caban Union. Uniting the armies, economies, administrations. Nice. Well, let's give it a couple of days first before we do too much. Project completed Greater Dawn. Democratic Coalition, United Administrations, Killed Predator. Germans with it all capital. Various German business and investors are withdrawing money from the Cossacks. Krasnov is losing his political powers more losing his political power more and more. Uh, Cossacks are looking towards a union with Russia. Darn. Well, that's not good. It's really not good. Interesting paths we have here. The construction. Oh, Greater Dawn. So that's it for that one. Claim Sartsen. Claim Don Bas and Crimea. Kalmykia secedes. The other Kalmyk coast is announced its will declare independence. Even worse, nearly all of our Kalmyk forces have left for the newly established country. Nothing we can do. Traders that should feel wrath, war with them, or play as them. There's nothing we can do. Well, we'll see what happens. Buddhist influence, backwards country, Cossack state, or both Cossack states. Kamilkia reborn, huh? Now ah, they have divisions there. Just let them hold for now. Uh, Bogevsky criticizes Karaznov. Bogevsky, the leader of the pro-Russian faction in the Cossack circle, has criticized Krasnov and denounced his policy of appeasing the Germans. With the Berlin stock crisis and Germany slowly losing its supreme role in the world politics, cooperation with them won't bring stability in the country like many of it may have years ago. It's only talking. Yeah, we do that a lot, just talking. Um, we can do that. Um, there you go. So we can do something like that, maybe. We can guard the cap as long as we can start killing off all the divisions. We should be able to win this pretty easily, so. Well, pretty easily is a statement. Can we just encircle them all? There you go. There you guys, just force it. Just force it. Nothing bad will ever happen if you just force attack, right? Right. I think I'm right. Cavalry expert? Why not? Screw it. The bet's joined. It's fine. Whatever. Go in. Go in. It's fine. Electronic mechanical engineering. Grab some research speed. Very nice. The thing hasn't fired yet, so we're going to come over here and keep doing this too. We may need Ostrakhan. Honestly, we'll probably need that. Anti Krasnov coup. Of the Bogaevsky's speech, the country's quickly become a rhetorical battlefield between the pro German and pro Russian factions. This will escalate with more fighting in the Cossack country, of course. Thank you very much. Um, <clears throat> Uh, ending with a brief shootout of the Capitol building. It would now appear that only Be that Bogevsky is attempting a total coup d'etat against the government. I don't suppose that a faction such as the Socialists, the Vlasov's militias, and the German garrison are preparing to seize power for themselves if the situation were to devolve enough. So, as this guide does say, 
Wait for the fire. And let Krasnov die. Krasnov defeats the guards. Saves Krasnov. Do not pick this option you go on the German path. Do not pick this up. He's killed. We can't put the power with this ability. We can't put the power over with it. Oh. Sorry, Peter. The Krug is one. Or Krug? I don't know. We're going to do that, and we just get away today. I did Kras. No, Koo. After Berlin stock market crashed, the Bogat FSK group had finally had nothing to try to remove Kras off from power. Ah, screw it, anyways. Have a German take over in the next event, huh? Cool. The death of the Krasnov. And the aftermath of the coup. Uh, Ataman Krasnov has been killed as a Bogayevsky stormed the capital. However, his position is far from stable. The socialists are taken to the streets. The Vlasovites are marching from Rostov, and the German garrison is preparing for the influence of the Enikas. Novichokovsk is soon to fall into total chaos. Oh, he's dead, so. Um. Take your arms. Vlasov managed to overpower the socialists and the Lusophiles. The German garrison intervenes and takes powers for themselves. So, that's interesting too. Anti Krasnov cool. New Dawn Army is pretty cool. Five radical socialists to the Dawn flows. Socialist revolution has occurred. German administration has taken over. Ostdeutsches Heer. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Pooch. Calm the Cossacks. Our rule secured. Create the Ost Legion in. Oh, Kamukia exists. We're taking the east? No, we did that one already. Oil must flow. Ensig? Wow. Wait, what is it? all this? Form the Reichskommissariat. A Kaiserreich to call her own. Jesus Christ, that sounds actually really cool. What is this? Hand over the control of the, the committees? The Russian National Republic? New status quo? Russian integration? Cores on all Russian lands? Ost Deutsche Bank? My god. A meeting with the Kaiser? That's actually really cool. It's over here now. The Vlasov affair, his control over the Don. Uh, Slay the Dragon, Grand Liberation, Russian National Republica, the Army to Liberate Russia. Well. My Discord server did want the German Don Kaban Union, so. No, I really want this one, though. United the Cossacks? <sighs> yeah, I do want the Don Kaban Union. It remains? Well, he's not dead, so. Well, I really want the German one, though. That sounds really cool. So, which is this one? I'm sorry I'm taking so long with this. I just. I like all these paths. The pro German Don Republic. To get the United Cossack Toast, either stay with Christmas or have Bogatsky coup him. Oh man, I'm going to have to play this nation several times then. German Don, come on. You know what? He defeats the rebels for now. Bogatsky. His victory. Bogevsky, our great hero, has destroyed the traitor Krasnov. With him at the helm of our ship, we should begin his vision for the future of the nation. Long live Bogevsky. Uniting Cossacks. We're divided, people. Cossacks from the Don, Kaban, and the Terek Rivers. Now, as the curse of Muscovites come ever slower, seeking towards the strip us of everything we've gained in the past decades, we must act. Our freedoms, our sovereignty, everything is under threat. Stand united, steadfast, a single people, ready for the Muscovite hordes. I, wonder, I really want to go to the German one, so I apologize if you want to just go that way too, but it is what it is. I'm glad we got that one stuff in too. Really integrate it. We conquered the Buddhist enclave of Kalmilkia. As a flag rises high above Alesta, we must decide what to do with these strange lands. We can incorporate them directly into our state, further expanding our nation into the Volga, past the edges of the Northern Caucasus, or grant them autonomy and save ourselves the headaches of the Buddhist and Cossack resistance. Integrate it. Absolutely. Go with local autonomy for now. Um, oh! Sh what happened here? Wait, how did you. What? I don't even know map on goddamn. Oh, Sperdanova. Savinkov. Korinlov. Siberians. How do you. 
Oh, that's a weird it's a Kaiser Redux generic focus tree. You never see that. Oh, what happened over here now? That would probably be the easiest way to take these guys out. Oh, they just annexed all this. Of course, there's not much up there, but still. Um, honestly, we'll probably... Actually, we do have some battleships, so... These guys are okay. They're only 14 cavalry with. Which is the one we're using, so... It's alright with me. We could go towards the Free Republic, which would be really cool as well, but... This has more stuff down here, too. So... It's Republic. With Afrikan Bogevsky. Oh, look at that. Quickly rise and become the Ottoman of the Don host. It's time to decide what to do next. Well, Afrikan himself is looking forward to cooperating with Russia, his ambitions of his own. If the governments of the Russian Republic won't recognize Bogevsky as an ally, he'll be forced to turn on them. Bogevsky will be the savior of the Don. Well, we'll see. No guarantees. And welcome back, Bogevsky. Destruction, nice. Better guns, maybe? Yes. Better upgraded guns, perhaps? Yes. Cossack Pact. You know the armies. Uh, Kuban's former generals will join us. Move to so organize armies. Follow the kingdom of Finland, alright. Uh, ties with the Kuban host. Our brothers in the Kuban host split off from us in the aftermath of Krasnov's push during the chaos of the Admiral's power grab. We have left each other alone for years, but now we must join hands and unite the region. We must defend ourselves against or from the Muscovite menace. Oh. Ties with the Astrakhan host. Uh, our brothers across the border, the Astrakhan host. During the push, they did not side with us, but we can forget that. As the Muscovites come for us, I should soon realize joining with us is the only option for the various Cossack peoples. The Alish orders Cossacks are oppressed. The leaders of the Cossack Republic's Cossack communities have been complaining to us that they are oppressed under the government's ethical policy. Pledge to defend the security of the Cossacks. Sure. Ties with the Terra Coast. The Terra Cossacks are brothers down in the Mountain Republic. During the chaos, we split off from the Union and joined the Muslim people there. Now the Muscovite is coming. We shall call for unity across the steppe and mountains. Cool. Might as well, right? Might as well. I'd like to get a post partial mobilization. Uh, probably more offense, maybe. Or do you have anything unique down here? Never. That's not bad. That's not bad either. Not bad overall. I would like some army XP, so. Mm, question of the Kuban Cossacks. I gotta play this path several different times. Ottoman Dictator? It's not bad. The dream is dead. The dream of the Don Kuban Union must be gotten for good. Oh, Jesus Christ. Why would we ever want that? So. Cavalry, eh? That includes cavalry there too. Prepare defense. Grand assault. It's not bad. Infiltration. Leg infantry gets breakthrough. In that. Um. That does include cavalry as well. And recon gets more recon, which is not bad. I'm thinking it will we'll go Grand Battle Plan. It's not bad either. Leg Infantry does not include, though, Cavalry, which is unfortunate. All Frontline Battalions include Cavalry, right? Yeah. Good support. Because that'll slow us way down. Tanks. Um, recon gets us more Recon stuff. So. Restore the Don Kuban Union. Uh, duh, Kuban, Don, Tarek, we were once a fighter, but no more. We will united contact host again. again. And we don't allow anyone to divide us again. Our goals are clear and we shall pursue them. Long live the Cossack people of our nation. Oh, wait. We go to war with them. Kuban People's Republic. Oh, shnikes. Uh, let's do one at a time then. Uniting the armies. Now that we've gained unity across the land, Sanford's unite the military of the various Cossacks and Caucasian people under one unified command. With one unified doctrine, namely to be our command and doctrine, for we the master of the region, our knowledge shall defeat the Muscovite horde. Or scum. Um, mobile warfare. It's not bad. All infantry. That's a flat 15. Uh, mobile infantry. But it does not include cavalry there. You get plus 10 there, so that's fine. Hmm. 
We may want to switch to motorized, but desperate defense. We're only going to need some serious population. I think I might just go grand battle plan. I mean, World War Warfare makes more sense, but still. Oh. Nice. Hope they agree to us. They refuse. Governor of the country, we offer to join our faction refuse. We must be answered with war. Alright, so we're going to lose stuff. We're going to spend PP them. Offense. I want that one, but artillery would be nice, but we don't really need that one. So offense. To arms. Yeah. Their choice. Black Monday. Got subsidies. Legacy of Shamil. Alright, so if you're not going to come in, we're not going to go in yet. We're going to concentrate right here. Street right here, you might be able to break over the river. And they're attacking the suit, which is not bad. Oh, now you come in? Restoration Don Combine Union. Look at that. Uh, we finally undone, done, undone the damage by the co collapse of the first uh, Don Combined Union in the 1920s. We should be united strong and proclaim a new Casa Casa Country. Unity is everything. Uniting the armies. Now we gain unity across the land, stand for us to unite the military of the various Cossacks and Caucasian people under one unified command, one unified doctrine. Of course, I read this earlier, so we did this again. We're good. Uniting the economies. I think I read that earlier. I apologize if I didn't. The economies are divided meant for the differing situations of the previous regional governments. Now that we're all one really one people, it's our duty to get that economy unified and ready for the Muscovites. Alright, so now you guys are here. So, let's just do it like this then. If you can still break it across, that would be the most ideal thing. Bill Haywood elected. Copeland. Just go in. Go, 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 go. Nice. Can you just take the capital? Can you take the VPs? Krasny. Ran Rebellion succeeds. Nice. Astrakhan, Kuban. The Russian speaking city of Astrakhan is now in control. We must decide to do with it. Assimilate it. Wait, Kuban. The great city of Kuban now lies within our hands, allowing our troops to gaze over the Black Sea as the new masters of the coastline. Filled with unruly Russian or Ukrainian speaking minorities, it might be best to give the Kuban some sense of autonomy. On the other hand, directly integrating them could be provide rather useful, given their location resources. How should we do it? Release them? Oh, heck no. Nice. We will need some more of that. A little ahead of time. It's fine, whatever. Let them come in. Guns, yes. Thousands of guns needed. Ships needed, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Good. Destroy that division if you can. Hey, another division and circle. Nice. No, 
know, that's probably a stupid way of doing this. I'm gonna go get some more vampire though, which is really nice. And economies, yes. And bubble happen, I'm not worried about it. United Administrations. Ever since the restoration of the Don Combined Union, the former administrations haven't truly been cooperating as they should to build a new union. Arguing over internal borders. We should put an end to these petty arguments for the good of the union. Divided we fall, so united we shall stand. God, this is killing us so much. And get these all scores would be phenomenal. We're lacking a lot of what makes people but whatever. Um, proper heritage sounds like the, uh, uh, we have to go with that one. Yeah, we have to go with that one. I don't know, I could be wrong. I mean, mobile warfare just makes the most sense. Let's creep, but we're not using tanks. I would like to use tanks, but we're mostly just Cossacks. So we'll probably go with Grand Battle Plan. We'll go with Grand Battle Plan. Screw it. Why not? We need way more guns, though. 5,000, we're out of. We need Artie. We need Artie in general. And you're gonna force it. It's gonna be costly, especially over here when they can't move. Oh, nice. I don't know why they wanted to resist us so much. Cause they just will never understand, man. Train, 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 train. Well, by fortress, that is the moment the Republic's finally been cracked open. Never, even now, more of our troops pour into the caverns, and Steve Mountain's pass is flushing the remaining caucus separatists into the rat nests. We can do these regions with its own devices to find our autonomous regime, or try to directly tame these wild crags and peaks, but these mountains and their people have always proved to be stubborn at best. Nope. Gale the Predator. Gale the Predator. The Muscovite Terror, the beast who long pursued and hunted us and sought us, sought to use us for his own game. We, the people of the United Cossack Coast, should become hunters and turn the Muscovites into the hunted. Fear us, run from us, try to borrow us, do whatever you can to hide. We will come for you and destroy all you have created. Glory to the po Cossack people. Russian and Soviet Federative Republic, huh? Well. Russian Federative Well, I guess we have to wait for that one then. The Russian Cossack Republic. We wanted to really go through a lot of people. Economic recovery, which we read early as well, so. If you want to read that again, please go ahead. Uh, Cossack Army. Cossack heritage runs deep in our veins and martial traditions. We should capitalize on the roots, these roots and effectively make Cossack strategy and customs be part of our armed forces. The proud history shall become the bedrock of a modern military. I agree. Critical population factor is not bad. Not a lot there, though, that we really care about. Increased taxes, though. Uh, to further uh, facilitate our economic recovery efforts, the government has decided to temporarily increase the tax in order to obtain more money to the budget, granting us larger amounts of capital to spend on anti crisis measures. Well, in Germany versus Russia, produce more equipment. That's not bad, that's good too. Industrialize. That's not bad too, that's good. Subdivide German businesses, which you can't do, which sucks. Duty free policies for Russians? Oil production. Recognize Russian currency and all Monty Don host. Stabilization. It's not bad. Industrial factory donations, huh? Strong attrition exercise. I think of Georgia. Uh, we need more world tension. God dang it! Get our recovery. Get together, you guys. Probably not. Yeah, that sucks. So we're kind of stuck then. That sucks. Kill the predator. We'll take the one as fast as we can. Oh, and I love it that the devs actually made it so that you don't have to keep going this way. Demand Transcaucasia. Huh? All right, nice. Very nice. I love it, devs. I love it. Um, the crease taxes like we read, we'll have to do adopt new doctrine. With the Russian Civil War and the Republic behind us and the threat of a new war on the horizon, we can no longer rely on the state theories of yesterday. Uh, new doctrines and strategy must be developed and like ideas reformed and modernized in order to stand a chance of the battlefield of tomorrow. Rely on Russia. 
Russian close to rule power or great state as long and turbid history of the people, regardless, their best option to choose is the benefactor given the proximity and existing ties or economy. In order to facilitate better relations between the two nations and rapidly repair economy, we should rely on Germany in our future's economic development. Wait, what? Rely on Germany. Okay, whatever. And there goes America. Goodbye. We need some more equipment. With the growing armies and new doctrines developed, the demand for fresh equipment has never been higher. We must expand quotas, build new factories, hire more workers, and anything else we can do to increase our industrial output. Every hand a rifle. Military industrial complex. Our private defense industry shall pursue far closer ties with the military and military administration in order to smooth cooperation between the two. Uh, like two pieces of the same puzzle, they shall feed the same hand, or feed off each other, rapidly fueling the rise of our military size and strength while also furthering the influence of our government. Increase taxes by a small amount, too. Um... Cossack Air Force. Spear the Cossack shall take wing and fly with the creation of an official independent air force of our nation. Previously, with what few planes available to our military's use, that was in a cargo plane, were tied to the nation's army back in call. Though they shall still cooperate, and their Cossack groups will continue to bind them. <clears throat> an independent air force shall allow our flyboys a greater degree of freedom in their development. Motorized. Um, we still have no ports, which, is, which makes sense, but still. Could use some aluminum, eh? Yeah. Increase taxes. We're gonna do all this stuff. Industrialized Almighty Don House, yes. With their deeply agrarian roots, industry has always been solely lacking within our nation. A sweeping industrialization push is much needed for our country to compete with our neighbors in the region. The skies that rise high above our land between the two seas shall grow black with the smoke of progress as we burst forth into modernity. Nice. Mechanization of agriculture. Our nation is so largely agricultural based and agrarian, which is much of the industry expected of a modern state, is sorely missing with our, within our borders. We should take notes of the modern farming techniques and used in other nations by mechanizing our agri, agri uh, industry. With the new motorized tractors, crop processors, and plants, plants and other wonders of the industrial age, we should lift our farmers up out of the dirt and into the future. Wow. Duty free policies? Cossack Army. Adopt a new doctrine. With the Russian Civil War and the uh, behind us, of course, I read this again, plus great head. No, read that one. Radar, because you can. Duty free policies for Russians. Since the economic collapse wrought by Black Monday, our financial ties with Moscow has only grown stronger. For this cooperation, Russian businesses should be subsidized and receive parental treatment in hope that they will invest more in our state. Oil production? The region of Sikhausia uh, and the lands that strata above the Black Sea and the Caspian are blessed with bountiful reserves of oil since its discovery. As black holes become vital to our economy, we should increase our oil production at once and generate more revenue. Yeah, we'll go to war as fast as we can with the Russians. As much as I want to join Middle Europa, I recognize Russian currency and Don Kuban Union. Whether their economic links with the Russian are growing, their currency uh, has become increasingly common in our markets. Our citizens should be able to use the Russian ruble, equally with their national currency, to further integration into the Russian economic sphere and stabilization. With a mountain of reforms and new policies passed. Oh, look at that, nice. <clears throat> Black money is slowly becoming a distant memory for people. Though it still has the ups, its scars on our nation, our economy has, for the most part, stabilized in the week of the Berlin mark stock market crash. With the shocking class behind us, our economic future has never looked brighter. Nice. What are you going on here, huh? And we'll import Russian equipment. Though they conceded to the Germans in the Valkyrie, Russian equipment was proven tried and true in the fires of the Russian Civil War, rapidly making gains in military technology since then. With their technical know-how and famous manufacturers like the Tola Arms plant beyond our war industry, which does make some relatively not bad ammo, our army shall become as mighty as a Russian bear. But I think I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed the video, though, leave a like, subscribe if you are new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also see what else we can do as the Don Kuban Union. Thanks for watching. Have a tremendous, tremendous, tremendous rest of your day.